What's up everyone, Chris Chavez here again with Joyshark.com. Now today I have a really cool app for you. Um, it's called Widget Locker and it comes to you from Tesla Coil Software. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite apps because I'm a pretty big Android lover and one of the things I love about Android is your ability to customize your home screen. You can put widgets, move icons around, do all that cool stuff. But uh, the one thing I didn't really like about it was the fact that you couldn't customize your home screen or your uh, your lock screen. Um, your lock screen was pretty much just uh, whatever whatever phone you have. It was kind of stuck like that. So um, this this app came along and they kind of saved the day. Uh, it's a fully customizable lock screen. You can choose from all different types of styles, from um, Sense UI to uh, even an iPhone. You could use an iPhone slider and stuff. Uh, you can put widgets on your lock screen. You can put apps on your lock screen. Um, it's just really really cool and so customizable that. Um, you're sure to love it. It will definitely fit fit your need completely. So um, sit right there. I'm going to show you guys uh, just how it works and how cool it is. And uh, yeah. All right. So now we're going to take a look at Widget Locker by Tesla Coil Software. Now what this does is it basically gives you um, a customized lock screen. So this is the standard Evo one you see here. I'm going to go ahead and open up Widget Locker. And I'll show you guys exactly how I have mine set up. Now you can um, set it up with uh, custom sliders. If I open this one, it'll take me straight to my dialer. If I open this one, it'll take me straight to my camera. Um, you have your sound modes there, and then of course to unlock there also. Um, everything is pretty much uh, customizable, so you can move around the time. Uh, you can adjust the background. You can put a custom background if you would like, or you can um, also adjust the uh, alpha on it so make it like dim dimmer or darker right now we're in tool mode let's go into some of the settings oh if I click add actually you can add some shortcuts or and or widgets so if I click widgets of course you have your standard ones that you could add onto your lock screen um, the custom slider is of course the big one here because um, on each each slider you can adjust it to what you want it the action basically so on the right hand slider uh, you can put it so toggle brightness, um, in the interactions, you can have it so uh, you can do camcorder, you can take you straight to your SMS inbox. Uh, you can also, if you have the te Tesla LED app, it'll um, just turn on the LED on your phone. And then also you can do a select select your own shortcut. So I think that is just really awesome. And you have your customized slider. Of course there's um, actually a button in the middle that you can press, you don't really get to see it, but um, you get to choose that one as well. Um, I don't like to do it because I actually like to have to slide to um, do actions. Uh, I don't want to have something, um, especially if it's locked in my phone, I don't want to, in my pocket, I don't want to actually accidentally press something. Um, let's check out some of the settings, which is the fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And once enabled, it does have a notification there. It's kind of mandatory to keep it, uh, to keep it uh, overriding your current lock screen or the, the standard uh, default one buttons and input um, you can set it to so you can press the back button to unlock if that's what you like to do on um, the back button duration you can make it so that you hold down the back button to unlock if that's your thing use it so the camera button unlocks if you have a camera button on your phone um, just a bunch of stuff that you can do uh, long press you can allow the call button da -da -da -da. Um, you could also allow interactions but I don't like to do that on the on the uh, lock screen simply because um, you might accidentally um, um, you might accidentally press something that you don't want to press or move something around. Um, and you can also allow long press or don't allow. The look and the feel, this is what I like here because you can actually choose an alternate wallpaper from your gallery. So you can have a separate uh, wallpaper just for your lock screen, which I think is really awesome. Uh, I won't really go into that too much. Background tint, this is what I was talking about before. You can make it adjust it so it's light or dark. I like to keep it a little bit darker. Slider layout. Now this is the type of lock screen that you can use. This is actually one of the, the coolest features on it. It has the widget locker one, which is the one you saw now. It has the ones at the very bottom, and then you can adjust, adjust the other se separate ones. Standard Android would look like this. It's um, right here, and it's not at the very bottom. And then of course you can move this one around and the other one around accordingly. Uh, let's check out some of those other ones. There is the Sense UI one, which has the standard Sense UI lock screen guy here. 
Um, and then you could actually have those um, sliders there too. So you can kind of mix it up and kind of do your own thing. Um, they actually have an iPhone one, which is a little bit funny. I don't know who would want that on their phone. And it would unlock it. Moving on. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then they also have no sliders, so there will be no sliders on the screen at all, and you can just adjust it and put your own accordingly. Label shortcuts will label the shortcuts. You can hide the notification bar. HTC weather animations is actually what I kind of like because um, you can have it so that the HTC animations from the weather they'll show up no matter um, what you do. So um, once you unlock your phone. I forgot I had an iPhone one. You'll see there the little moon with the little animation is going on and no matter what screen I swipe to and then finally disappears. So that'll happen inside of an app and stuff. And I just think it's kind of cool because usually when I open I start swiping and I, I don't know. I, I don't get to appreciate those animations very much. Um, let's see. I'm going to, let's add some shortcuts possibly. You can do your standard shortcuts and stuff. You can also, Um, add applications, so if you have something like an LED, or um, a game, or a, let's see what else you might want to put on there. Um, something to take you to your, hmm, I don't know, whatever favorite app that you have on there, like an LED app or whatnot. Uh, the reason I like to put those on there is simply because if you unlock it in your pocket accidentally and you tap on it, it'll take you straight to the app, but of course your preference may vary. You can adjust the screen timeout and uh, pop-ups. You just added this one on the update. Um, it'll hide incoming call and pop-ups if you have uh, one of those apps that have those SMS pop-ups. And in advance, you have easy wake mode and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I just like this. This is like probably my favorite, 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 favorite must-have app on my phone simply because I love to customize my lock screen. And I think it's really cool that he did it. The only thing that I would like to see possibly would be a um, on the slider layout. I would like to see an espresso one with the espresso or the um, like on the My Touch slide. They have a little bit different lock screen. Um, I'm hoping that he can add that in the next one. I'm actually going to send him an email and see what he says. But um, yeah, so here's here's to hoping that he adds that. Overall, I think he just did an awesome, awesome, amazing job, and uh, I love it. I'm in love with this app. Okay, so you just saw one of my top favorite apps. It's called Widget Locker, and it comes to you from Tesla Coil Software. Uh, definitely, 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 definitely one of my favorite favorite apps on the market. Um, things just don't get more useful than this. I think it's just so cool how you can customize your lock screen, and I don't know, it's just it's making my phone so much better. Um, I love apps that are just so inc incredibly useful, and they allow me just to customize things. Um, entirely to my liking and this app lets you do just that. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, whatever price it is in the market <laughs> and it's not very much. So you guys can go pick it up right now. Totally worth it. Um, I'm Chris Chavez. You're watching DroidShark.com. Be sure to come back for some more of my app reviews and I'll see you guys next time.